box. All right, Laura, what do you got for us? Former Eagles linebacker Michael Kendricks has been cut from the Cleveland Browns just two months after signing with the team. And it's all because of insider trading charges. And this isn't a type of thing that we usually hear about, so we decided to look into the case. The Browns fired Kendricks after U.S. attorneys charged him with insider trading. They say Kendricks conspired with a friend of his who has a bank analysis to gain valuable info about upcoming investment mergers that had not been publicly announced. If it is true, that means Kendricks would have been able to take advantage of and capitalize on the deals before they happened and make lots of money doing it. So prosecutors say Chendricks did this four times and turned $80,000 into $1.2 million. We asked Mitch Little, an attorney who specialized in securities fraud, about how insider trading happens. People who are engaged in insider trading are looking for the person who's at the crossroads of uh, the financial world and extremely sensitive information. Places like law firms, uh, investment banks, people who are the typical insider at a company who might know something about a merger or uh, a drug being approved by the FDA. Someone who is, I, I think it's very difficult for someone to accidentally engage in insider trading. There's got to be some form of, some form of intent. And here, Mr. Kendricks obviously knew that Mr. Sonoiki had access to information that could be turned into money. To convict someone for insider trading, prosecutors must prove the person had intent, that they knew what they were doing was wrong and when they did it. One thing that does show intent, prosecutors say Kendricks and his friend used coded text messages and FaceTime conversations to exchange the insider tips. Back to you. All right, Laura, thanks so much.